I'm Chris from Fat Fiber, and this is Autumn. She's been in a few videos, but if this is one of your first time seeing us, you might not know her. You might not even know me, because Carla's been doing the video since January, I think, oh, February. Oh, wow. So oh, I haven't been doing the video lately. Myths and Legends will take a look. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. I think it's good. I'm excited. This month, we've got a new contributor, Asby Farms, and she sent us bird nesting fiber. So you can put this out in a fiber cage or um, into a suet cage, and then the birds will use it to create to make nests, and you'll have this beautiful fiber in there. It actually helps keep the babies warmer, the little eggs warmer and the babies warmer. Aww. We're looking out our window to like oh. two dozen hummingbirds right now. Yeah. We so have quite a bit. We really love um, seeing something like this in our box. So it says that there's vegetable matter and dirt in it. It doesn't matter because it's gonna be out there with the birds. It's it's not gonna be washed, so they're not gonna be exposed to any chemicals, which is nice. But yeah. It's pretty. It's from use to you. It's from use to you. See, use our sheep. Um, okay. So this is from use to you. The colors are really pretty. They're oh, look at that. Ooh, I just now noticed that. Okay, I like that orange. This is like a sunset color right here. This is like a tealish kind of green almost. Yeah. And I like it. Look at the color in this I know. thing. I know. Like well, I don't know if you can see this in the video. Like we, with our eyes, you can see this like, look at with our eyes. <laughs> I mean, versus the camera. Look at the picture up there. Yeah. See how you can't tell? But like this is dark red and then there's, and there's beautiful yellow and, and orange. orange. That's gorgeous. And it's blended together. And then this color is like a tealy green and just put these together and they make love. <laughs> yeah. They're really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> they probably won't make love. Probably not. I mean, you could call it making love, I guess. But it looks legendary. That <laughs> is legendary. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna tear this open. Symphony Fiber said there be dragons. This yeah. is Surrey Alpaca and 1% Angelina. And let me tell you, through the bag, it looks amazing. So I I'm agree. looking I'm forward to it. Look at those colors. Those are like our favorite colors too. So. Yes, we're purple and green people. And I like black. Oh, just to add that and black's black. awesome. Yeah. This would uh, also be a fun colorway for our October theme. Not to give you a spoiler, but it's a witch's brew and potions. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, and look, there's even some gold oh, deco. I love this paint. And it's soft. It does look like a dragon, though. Look. It does. Oh, oh there. <laughs> Dragony. I want that on my shirt or something, like a jacket. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put that away. Otherwise, I'm just gonna eat it. Yeah. It sounds like it'd be tasty. Oh, it's too soft. It won't go back in the bag. I guess I'll just have to spin it. Darn. Phoenix Fiber Mill sent us these really fun little felted beads. I would think this could... Are, are you okay? She smashed her elbow. Okay, so this could be a wine stem charm. So like a charm on your wine glass so you know which wine glass oh, is yours. Yeah, yeah. Or fun. it could be a stitch marker. You could mark like um, certain rows or I don't know. I just think it's really beautiful. Let me see if I can get... No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Closer, closer, <laughs> nope, yep. There we go, that's center. It's really pretty, I like the blue. It's very nice. Yeah, and the, the bead is very teal. Yeah. And then these ones are like little sapphire-y colors. Yeah, they're pretty, and I like the It water, says, so. <laughs> Dionysus is the god of the grape harvest, winemaking and wine in ancient Greek religion and mythology. So, she's celebrating the god of wine, the Greek god of wine. Ooh. Fabulous. Okay, wait, so this is Bristle Ridge? Yeah. And she... Bristle Ridge alpacas. Bristle Ridge alpacas. And it's just a... It's her alpaca, alpaca fiber, fiber, yeah. But it's gorgeous. It's like a maroon, a deep maroon, and it's soft. Yeah, it looks like, like somebody poured my more, my um, Cabernet Sauvignon all over some fiber and yeah. then dried it off. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. gorgeous. Oh, I love gorgeous. this. It'd be pretty for like a little scarf or something. I know, and it's so soft. I yeah. love alpaca fiber. Yeah. And what's fun about this fiber is there's like some shiny bits and then there's some matte bits. So you get kind of everything in there. This would spin, this would spin fabulous. Yeah. I can just I, feel it. I love that. So this is Fairly Fiber Fun. Fairly. Fairly Fiber, fiber Fun. fun. For, it's Kim. 
Um, she said has this gorgeous fiber. Yeah. This is 100% Icelandic. The fun thing about Icelandic, it, it feels a little more coarse than, than maybe what we're used to spinning, but it spins so beautifully and it is perfect for outerwear because it is very warm. It's extremely warm. She called this one Night Dragon. She said night dragons are depicted as evil, mysterious, and or wise beings. They're very secretive, coming out only at night. Since they're never seen during the day, their iridescent black scales, shimmering with blue and purple, can only be glimpsed under the light of a full moon on a clear night. Bits of purple, oh, bits, bits of black, black bits, bits of blue, blue, a little bit of gray. Yeah, just a it's really, gorgeous. Yeah, it's a really subtle, beautiful um, bit of fiber. A fun and scarf or hat I just, or I'm sitting here blanket, wanting to spin it right now. And we forgot to mention that Kim, who we just told you about, is a new contributor. Woo! New contributor, yay! Yeah. Full Circle Artworks sent these gorgeous blended rovings. I'm gonna tell you what's in it. We'll tell you a little bit about what she, the theme she chose for her fiber. So this has, yellow is merino wool. It's right there. The, tussis, the mustard, yellow, lilac, moss, and mint is tussis silk and oils. Uh, natural red, that's eerie silk. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then there's recycled sari silk in there that's green. That's the, the green threads that go through. And there's rose fiber that's a mint green. Maybe that's... I think that's the... Or... There it is, there it is. It's shiny. Oh, oh, that's pretty. And then there's faux cashmere that's lime and aqua. And then there's Angelina, mint, white with purple flash. Then there's Firestar, Lime, Mint, and Emerald. That's this shine. So Stacy said that um, she realizes that the Luna Moth is not a mythical creature, but there's a lot of mythos surrounding moths, and she feels very connected to this particular insect because it's named after the moon, which is reminiscent of her shop's name, Full Circle Artworks, which is named, after, named for the cycle of the moon. She gave us some basic facts about the Luna Moth, and I didn't know that they have no mouths. A moth landing on you is your ancestors reaching out to touch you from beyond. That's amazing, I love that. Yeah, there's a lot more here, but anyway, if you get a box this month, you'll get this sample and you'll get to read all about the Luna Moth. This beautiful little stitch marker is a dragon and it was sent to us by Jaeger and Yarn. I love it so, so much. It is fantastic. We'll see if we can get a little closer because it's amazing. There's so much detail here, and this would be just a fun little thing. I was doing a Mother of Dragons shawl, and this would have been a really fun stitch marker to have hanging off of it yeah. while it's, I'm knitting it. Of course, I never finished that shawl, but you know, that, that's okay. <laughs> this isn't about me. <laughs> this gorgeous, fluffy, amazing thing is from Wild Hair Studio. She called it the Gates of Avalon. This is her own, um, Purebred Rommeldale CVM wool and from their farm, pulled Tessa silk, Tessa silk noils, Angelina, and rose fiber. So it has all that fabulousness. And if you've never spun their fibers, you really need to because it's so soft and fluffy and easy to spin. And this blend is really beautiful too. I love it. I like the little hint of gray, but then there's a bunch of blue, that little bit of green right there. And look at there's Tiny bit. like navy colored Angelina or maybe teal. I teal? think that's teal. Yeah, I think it is teal. I just love it and it's very fluffy. It's super fluffy. This is from Howard Knitnacks. She sent us Babe the Blue Ox in yarn. And to me, I don't know if it is, but it seems like it might be hand spun, but it could be. It could be mill spun, but it's really beautiful. Um, she did a good job of making the, the dye slightly variegated, but mostly solid, and I love semi-solid yarns. Anyway, that's our pre-preview video for July, August. Yeah. Why, why are you looking at my head? <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Summer is such a busy time. That's why we combine boxes. So we combine boxes in July and August and then in December to January because that way people have time to be with their families and um, in the summertime there's family, there's fiber festivals, there's kitty cats, there's everything. So um, <laughs> we just want to take care of our contributors as well as our... Oh my God. Okay, so I want to take a video of this. This is out our window. The hummingbirds are going crazy. I'm going to have to fill that feeder. We just Again. filled it yesterday. Yeah. And they're, they're so just pretty. 
all over the place. We have three feeders. The other one is in a place where it's blocked right now from view, but there's so many of them. <laughs>